Science of Anime Time, when Naruto created this bijou bomb, why big crater? I don't really have a purpose for this picture, I just like seeing Naruto eat shit. Anyway, now the easy answer is, it's heavy. This is one of the most dense chakra constructs in the entire series. In my last video, I went over how chakra is a certain particle that can convert into other particles of energy when gathered or interacting. So this is turning chakra into some sort of force, some sort of other energy, and that energy has effective mass. So according to official, so according to official data, the ground is cratering because this is so dense. It is being attracted to the earth at an enormous rate and creating a crater around it. But I think there's something else going on here. Check this out. Also, according to official data, Biju bombs are formed by a ratio of eight positive chakra to two negative chakra, which means chakra has a charge. You could see the different colors of chakra balls here. And if chakra has a charge and the ratio is eight two, that is a hugely positively charged mass. Much more charged than anything else we're used to seeing. That would cause electrical discharge, even if you don't necessarily see it as a lightning bolt. And you ask, why does the ground crack when the B2 bomb is formed? Check out Lichtenberg figures. These are a series of cracks that forms when a heavy electric charge enters a solid object. They could be put in anything from wood to glass to people. And so while the crater itself is probably caused by the dense mass of chakra, the cracks in the crater are probably caused by the discharge of the massive disparity between positive and negative charges in the Biju Bomb's chakra. Or at least I think it would be cool if it acted that way. Now let's laugh at Naruto getting punched.